The biggest bank in the country is implementing some new rules when it comes to depositing cash. And 23 ABC's John Genovese is live tonight at the Chase Bank on California Avenue with some details on the new policy. John? Todd, J.P. Morgan, the company behind Chase Bank, has faced scrutiny over a massive Ponzi scheme. Now customers wanting to deposit cash will soon be asked to show ID. I think it's a problem. A problem that Fernando Barato says could lead to confusion. But I think about the other person who probably don't have a, a document or license or something like that to, to deposit the, the, the money. Beginning March 3rd, Chase Bank customers will now be asked to show ID and they must be named on an account to deposit cash. They're cracking down on the procedures. Financial expert Garo Ellis says it all comes down to scrutiny by the federal government. Last month, J.P. Morgan agreed to pay out more than $2 billion related to a massive Madoff Ponzi scheme. In a statement to 23ABC, a Chase spokesperson said, We are making this policy change for cash deposits only to combat the misuse of accounts, including money laundering. Customers can still deposit into accounts they aren't named on using checks or other methods. Personally, I think, I think a lot of banks will probably follow suit, and they should. Something Garrow says affects him personally. I have two daughters uh, out of state in college, and if I want to walk into a bank and put money in their account, if I just have to go sign on their account now to, to be able to do that, I'll do it. And something he says others should get used to. There's going to be a balance between uh, trying to make customers happy and um, enact policies in place to, to make sure money laundering doesn't happen. Again, that policy doesn't go into effect until next month, but Chase says they've been warning customers since the start of the new year. Todd and Jackie, back to you.